All right, so here we are at the TWA Hotel. It's attached to JFK Airport in New York City. So if you're flying, especially out of uh, Terminal 5, JetBlue, highly recommend staying here. So convenient. Saves yourself some commute time. And it's one of the most unique hotels that I've ever stayed at. So this used to be an old terminal. I think it was back in the 50s, 60s, something like that. And as we take this tour here, you're gonna see everything is 60s theme. Also, they do offer hourly rates. So if you have, if you have a long layover, you can take a nice long nap, use the facilities. So it's very convenient. So as you can see, this is the lobby area, check-in desks. Over here is self-check-in, which I'm not sure why most hotels don't have these. It's pretty simple, very quick. To the left, we have a check-in for bags. Save some more time at the airport. Check your bags here. So straight down that way to the right is the little cafeteria area. Uh, a lot of different restaurants, snacks, ice cream, everything you need. Okay, this is where you have the lounge, the bars, the restaurants. Cute little, uh, again, going with the theme, you have the sunken living room, sunken lounge area right there. As we venture this way, we have the uh, restaurant. So the lounge, restaurant. And then as we go up the stairs over here, we have another restaurant. All right, again, they did not miss out on one single detail. So if you look across there, we have uh, some old school suits, you know, 50s, 60s style attire. Not sure if you can buy the clothes, but they're there. Uh, we have a photo booth. Of course, pretty fun. Uh, shoe shining station. I think it actually works. So again, very Handy if you need your if you need your shoe shined. There you go. Payphones, those do not work. Over here we have another bar. All right, here's their gift shop. It's actually pretty cool. You know, good quality sweatshirts. Blankets, some other knickknacks, robes. All right, down that way is to the uh, more rooms, the pool, we'll get to that later. But going down this way, this is where the gym is. Now this gym is unlike any other hotel gym I've ever seen, is way oversized. But, I mean, I guess if you live close by, you can get a membership here. Again, if you have a long layover, you can just get a pass, come here for a couple hours, take a shower. So it's pretty cool. Got your towels, of course. Locker rooms. Water. All right, so we're gonna see here. Plenty of treadmills. We have a kickboxing bag. Uh, Jacob's Ladder, Stair Steppers, all the weights, all the things you need. And right now it's empty, but when I was here earlier, it was uh, pretty poppin'. They also have a whole room of Peloton bikes. I'm not sure how many people they were expecting to use this gym, but they are prepared. <laughs> so over here we have the uh, yoga stretch room. 
There are plenty of mats, some free weights. And stay tuned for the end of this video. We have one of the best features of this hotel coming up. So keep on watching. If you made it this far, thank you. Subscribe. We're not done yet. So keep on watching. More excitement coming up. All right, so going down that long hallway, over here we have some guest rooms, but this way is also to the pool, another main attraction here. So it's a heated pool, a rooftop pool, so you get to see the planes, the runway. It's pretty neat. So again, if you're staying at this hotel or have a long layover, highly recommend getting here so you have enough time to actually use all of the cool facilities here. And it's always decorated like this, a uh, ski resort theme, not just for Christmas. All right, so as you can see, that lady in front of us is wearing a robe. We did not have robes in our room, but we asked her, she said she asked the front desk and they just gave it to her. All right, so it was raining, so we didn't really use the pool, but, uh. It's still very nice. Uh, it's heated, as you can see, the steam's coming off. Plenty of chairs over here during the day, I wanna lay out. And then down over there, we have a little cafe. and back down the long hallway. And they also have a, if you go to the front desk, they have some scavenger hunts for the kids or for yourself. You know, it's pretty fun. And you go around, uh, we actually couldn't figure it out, but get a scavenger book and have fun. There's clues all around the hotel. But here we just have a, a, you know, a decorated 60s room. Something to do while you're waiting for your flight or have some downtime at the hotel. And then over here is some of the blueprints from them actually building this terminal back in the day. There's plenty of read, a lot of facts, the whole timeline here on the wall, all through the hotel, really. So take your time and you know, go read the walls. All right, gonna go back down the long hallway and we're here in the uh, center lobby area. All right, so now going down this way, Again, we have the sunken lounge area, the bars. As you saw through that window, that's the terminal right there, the actual airport. We have some more uh, you know, photo op decorated rooms. This is the pink room. We have the twister room. Down this way is more rooms and to the JetBlue Terminal 5 
uh, actual airport. All right, so I'm gonna show you how easy it is just to get to the actual terminal. Walking down the hallway, more decorations, another themed room. And here we are. And here they are, they continue the theme. So you have the 1960s and then present day JetBlue. So we're gonna go down to present day JetBlue. And in three seconds, you are at the airport. Very convenient. You know, if you can, spend the extra money, stay here, enjoy not having to commute at 4 a.m. And then we're gonna go back to the hotel here. All right, so now we're here in the hallway getting ready for the room tour. And let's go check it out. All right, so they still kept the theme going, but for the room, they make it a little bit more modern, more airy, more bright. So I love this room. It's all gold and marble theme. Even they have gold hangers, old school light switches. The first time we stayed here, the room felt a little bigger. This one was a little bit smaller, but it's a, just a basic, regular king room. Here we have the bar area, mini fridge. Great lighting all throughout. I mean, nothing spectacular, but if you're here for one night or even just a few hours, it is perfect. Just the fact that you're right a few steps away from your terminal, that's worth the money. But as you can see, they kept the theme going. They have the old school phone, some pencils for your scavenger hunt, or other notes you wanna leave the, the staff. Uh, great lighting, cool lights, automatic curtains, the bed, Top quality, very comfy. A lot of chargers, so you can get all your equipment ready for your flight. Wireless charging, USB ports, uh, regular plugs. And then we're gonna push a button for the curtains. And here we are. The room, uh, the uh, view was not that great, but again, you're not here to see the best view from your room. You're here to be close to the airport. But uh, yeah, the airport, right there. That's why you stay here. And then stay tuned momentarily. We are going to see the coolest part of this hotel, in my opinion. All right, so if you made it this far, thanks for watching. You know, if you found any value out of this video, hit that like button, subscribe, but stay tuned. We're not done yet. Best part's coming up. Uh, here's the bathroom. Wonderful lighting, makes you look better than you actually do. Now we have a steamer, which if you're here for a business trip, that is wonderful. They have a blow dryer, shampoo, conditioner, body wash, all the necessities. A great shower, good water pressure. And that is the room. But now, like I mentioned, let's go check out one of the greatest features of this hotel. All right, so coming out of that long hallway, we have more facts, cool timelines, go read around, lots to look at. They also have a reading room down to the left, that's where the lobby was, but let's head out these doors. It was raining, so kind of ran through this outside area. To the left, they actually have curling. Uh, and then headed down this way, this is actually a real plane from the 50s. It's called the Connie. 
All right, but we're gonna head inside. Stay tuned, wait till you see how cool this is. All right, but here we are inside an old plane. Amazing. All right, so towards the back, there's another bar. And then if you look towards the front here, they kept the cockpit all intact, all original. I'm sure some things they remodeled, like adding in these tables, but everything else is pretty much the same. Old seats. So as you get your drinks, you can choose to be you know, old school and sit in these seats or be a you know, first class. And comment down below if you feel like all planes should be set up this way. I feel like it's a much better vibe. Uh, right to the right here, we have the handicap accessible lift. So that's nice. All right, but thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, all that good stuff. But I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.